Hi everyone, this is Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. Today I'm here with a tip that is amazing for saving time when you are stamping and die cutting the same piece. Have you ever been afraid of making a particular card, and this one's even a simple one here, but making a particular card that has a die cut on it, let's say you need to make 10 of them or 50 of them for Christmas cards, but you've thought like, I am not doing all that stamping and die cutting. Well, today the tip I'm gonna share with you is going to help a ton. The reason I'm doing this, I have my stamp camp coming up and this is one of the simple cards we're going to make. And for the die cutting, I try to do the stamping and the die cutting ahead of time so that we don't have like 20 people trying to stamp and die cut with my, with my die cutting machine and do all of this at the same time. So I'm preparing all of these and I wanted to show you how to do it. So the first thing that saves time when you do what I'm going to show you is it, it, if you think about, let's say you stamp this ahead of time and it wasn't die cut out yet. When you place your die over top and have to line this up, that takes a few seconds per die to make sure it's going to stay put. Then it like jumps around on you. Then you have to tape it down with washi tape. You know, there's like all these little tricks to make sure it stays lined up. Well, what I'm going to show you lines it up perfectly every time. And here's your first time saving tip with this. You can die cut multiple layers of paper at one time. So when I cut these out, I laid two pieces of white paper on top of each other on my platform, put this on top. We got two of these at one time. Sometimes you can even push it and get three. So that's your first time saving tip. So I got all of these cut out. Now what in the world do I do with them? How, how are you gonna get those lined up perfectly, right? Excellent question. Because prior to the Stamparatus, I'm not sure if there was, well, there was a way, but it was definitely a lot, definitely a lot trickier. So this is, I'm using the Forever Fern stamp set and the Forever Flourishing Dies, an absolutely beautiful set in our new catalog. And you will need a what is this called? The the extra piece from when you die cut out. You need one of these to use for this next step. So I could put this all the way up in the corner and get an idea of where this piece needs to be, but I'm going to stick it out a little bit farther to give myself some wiggle room just to get an approximate spot to lay my stamp down. I'm going to pick it up. Now this is a rubber stamp, so I do not have my extra foam mat in here. So you can see you only use the foam mat when you're using the clear photopolymer stamps. Now I don't need this for a moment. I am going to ink my stamp. Oh, that did not ink all the way. Ooh, looks like I need to re-ink my pad. Stamp on some grid paper. Now I want to bring this in, line it up around what I just stamped. And you can use your magnets to hold this in place if you want. Depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I use the magnets and sometimes I use, I actually bring in some washi tape and just tape the whole thing down. I think I'm going to go with both magnets. Remember, you have to be extremely careful when you use both your magnets that they do not snap together because they will break and you will be upset. Now, put your puzzle piece in the puzzle, put your little die cut where it needs to be, ink your stamp, stamp it, and look how perfectly we got that lined up right in the center. So we'll do a few of these to show you how fast this goes. Put it in the hole, ink, stamp, I have a six-year-old helper behind me who I feel like is watching this, thinking that she wants... Do you want to try this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me line it up. I'll get it inked. She looks amazed. Okay, go ahead and stamp it. Give it a good press. Got it? Look at that. So when I was doing my prep for my First, very first stamp camp, which at my stamp camp we make 16 projects, so it is a lot 
of preparation. When I was doing my very first one back in January, sometimes they'll stick to your stamp like this and that's okay. Just lift it up carefully, perfect. When I was doing my very first one, I was maybe a little frantic at the last minute because I was not completely ready and I was getting stressed out. So we roped the whole family into helping and my then, let's see, I think he was 13 at the time, my then 13 year old stepson was doing this very thing for me with Eiffel Tower stamps that we had in our last mini catalog. So the whole family can join in and help when you do something like this. I just think this is amazing. It saves so much time. Now we're going to take it one step further and I'll show you how to do two-step stamping with the same thing. So here is another card for Stamp Camp that I showed in a video yesterday. This is the Nothing is Better Than Stamp Set and Love You More Than Dies. I love this set. It is so adorable. So I seem to have lost my other cookie stamp. So give me one moment to find it. Okay, thank you for your bit of patience. I needed my grid paper. I need my outside piece for this die. Cookie! And so it doesn't matter where this goes, just somewhere out here where we have plenty of space. We'll pick this up. I do have my extra foam mat in here now because... We are using the photopolymer stamps. So I'll ink this. Early espresso. Early espresso. Stamp it. That didn't stamp all the way, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Line this up. Actually, actually, the next step is to line up the centerpiece. And I can't get my head right over top, but it looks like that's pretty close. So we'll pick this up with our second plate. So this is going to allow us to do two-step stamping perfectly every time and really quickly. So we'll line up this overlay. I feel like overlay is not the right word, but sometimes my brain turns off when my videos turn on. So we'll ink the cookie fill piece, stamp it, and that is just our practice, but you can see that that should line up really well. So early espresso on this piece, I guess I'll go ahead and ink this up, I don't see any reason not to, stamp cookie, put it back in there since it's stuck. Fill her in, Ooh. and look how fast that is. So you can even do two-step stamping. You can do three and four-step stamping. If you've never heard this, uh, you can leave this stamp here, lift your plate out, flip it over, and use this side of your plate for your third step if you want. You can use the other side of this one for a fourth step if you need that. So you can save a ton of time with these. I think that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it saves you some time. And I hope you join me again for a video next time. Have a great day.